today we will see the uh, problem solution to the problem 6.1 of the Griffith introduction to quantum physics quantum mechanics uh, second edition the problem is suppose we put a delta function pump in the center of the infinite square well uh, then in the perturbation uh, Hamiltonian H prime is equal to alpha uh, delta uh, x minus a by 2 where alpha is constant and uh, a is the uh, width of the potential well. Uh, since we are dealing at the middle, so we this delta function is yes, uh, x minus a by 2 where a is the uh, box length that is width of the infinite potential well. So now the question is find the first order correction to the allowed energies. I explain why energies are not perturbed for uh, even number of n. And uh, the next question is find the first uh, three non-zero terms in the expansion of the uh, correction to the ground state that is uh, uh, in uh, psi 1 of 1. So this is the uh, wave function 1 uh, at uh, with past order correction 1. This superscript uh, uh, describes the uh, perturbation. This is the past order perturbation. Now we will solve the first problem. That is, find the first order correction to the allowed energies. Explain why the energies are not perturbed for even, uh, even n. Uh, we know the wave function, uh, unperturbed wave function is equal to, for uh, infinite potential, well, it is equal to uh, square root of 2 pi pi a sin n by a x. So now our aim is to find the perturbed energy. That is, uh, first order energy correction is equal to pi definition is an expectation value of uh, perturbed Hamiltonian in unperturbed wave function. That is important. Here, wave function is unperturbed one. Hamiltonian is perturbed one. Uh, so. Uh, this can be written as in the integral form that is uh, psi star psi you know psi star psi is uh, this uh, square uh, psi squared modulus so this is equal to 2 pi pi a then this will become sine squared uh, n by a uh, x so uh, now i am introducing the better better to potential that is better potential at the middle of the infinite potential well is alpha times uh, delta uh, x minus a by 2 it is given in problem so uh, with uh, we are depends integrating with respect to x now uh, from the uh, Dirac property Dirac delta function property if we integrate the f of x with uh, uh, delta x minus x uh, x prime dx will gives you the f of x prime and now you apply that here in this you apply the delta function property then this x will become uh, a by 2 so that's what i have applied that is uh, 2 over a alpha sine squared n by by a and i replaced x by a by 2 now this A and this A will get cancelled. Uh, so uh, this A and this A will get cancelled. So you uh, you will get n by by 2. So it is equal to 0 for even number of n. Uh, that is uh, here for even number of n. Uh, the sin n, uh, n, by is, n by by 2 is 0. For add number of n it is equal to 2 alpha divided by a 2 alpha divided by a because uh, for odd number this uh, sine squared 
uh, value will become 1. So, this will be two, uh, 2 times alpha divided by A. This is the first order energy correction. Uh, there is no energy correction when N is even and uh, there is an energy correction uh, when N is odd. So, for even uh, case, there is no energy correction. For odd number, you have an energy correction. 2 alpha times A. Now we will see why this is happening. In my previous class, we have seen for infinite potential well, which, which is a pound state, uh, you can have the, uh, the very important condition is wave function has to vanish at the boundary. So it can be, as a, since it's a uh, pound state, this wave uh, is a sinusoidal one, here, in the case of uh, minimum energy state, you can have uh, the wavelength is half of the wavelength. This is full wavelength, this is one and a half wavelength, and this is two. Here you can see, this is called node one and node two, node three, node four. I have explained it in my uh, earlier class. So here you can see, uh, what is the probability of uh, Finding the particle, see, at, uh, particularly at the center, at the center you can see uh, the wave function is higher at the middle. If node is odd, that you have to keep it in your mind. And uh, when n equal to 0, sorry, 3, it is negative maximum. When you square it in order to find the probability, it will be maximum at the middle. Uh, what about the even? the wave function is 0 for n equal to 2. Similarly, for n equal to 4, it is 0. So, probability is 0. That, after all, that is the square of this one. Uh, so, uh, basically, due to boundary condition, uh, you can have a maximum uh, probability at the center when uh, node is added. When it is even, uh, the probability of uh, finding the particle will be zero. Naturally, uh, that uh, energy correction also, because wave function is zero, you cannot uh, have the energy correction. Now, our task is to find the first three uh, non-zero terms in the expansion of uh, the correction to the ground state. Uh, that is psi 1 1. This one represents, uh, subscript one represents the uh, wave function in, in the uh, ground state. That is uh, wave function at uh, node 1. Uh, this is the one represents energy correction. Energy correction uh, on uh, the wave function psi 1. In terms of uh, psi m, mth state, that is here, this is unperturbed mth state. So, by definition, we can find that uh, pra psi m uh, 0, uh, h prime get psi 1 0. Uh, remember that this is not the expectation value. Expectation value means you will get same wave function in the pra and get notation, but it is uh, different. So, in order to we express psi 1, psi one, uh, 1 in terms of the psi m0, that is the mth state, unperturbed wave function of the mth state. So, uh, this can be written in the integral form. Uh, we know that uh, the psi m0 is, uh, uh, this is uh, psi star psi. So, psi m0 multiplied with this, uh, psi 1 0 is uh, the normalization constant is uh, square root square root of 2 pi pi a then uh, that uh, square is 2 pi pi a uh, this plus uh, uh, psi m is sin m pi a uh, x similarly the get uh, psi 1 0 is equal to psi uh, because n is equal to 1 uh, I am simply writing as uh, this is pi by a x and the perturbation uh, is perturbed potential is alpha times uh, delta x minus a by 2. If 
previous problem also we applied is the same better version now i have kept this alpha outside because it's does not depend on h so uh, this will become two alpha over a uh, here i am bringing this term to front because x will come it with x so no problem i am rewriting this uh, now uh, this blue color term is f of x so f of x uh, when act on the uh, if you integrate f of x with uh, multiplying with uh, delta function uh, dx this is then we can replace x by uh, a by 2 so uh, because when x c is equal to a by 2 this uh, delta function is 1 otherwise it is 0 so now i am replacing in f of x uh, x by a by 2 here a by 2 uh, here also a by 2 here a by 2 here a by 2 of course you have this constant so uh, now uh, this a a will get cancelled here similarly here also a a will get uh, cancelled then the second term will become sine pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is uh, equal to 1 so you can ignore this uh, so uh, in effect uh, this uh, inner product that is bra psi m0 uh, h prime get uh, psi 10 0 is equal to uh, 2 alpha uh, over a times sin m pi by uh, 2. Here remember that uh, for even number of m uh, this will be uh, multiple of uh, pi so this will become 0 only odd number this term exists. Uh, that is this is uh, zero uh, if uh, m is even we have seen that first order energy correction uh, can be written as we have seen this in uh, my lecture on perturbation theory summation over m because here the even number of m is going to be zero so we i, I have taken only the odd number three five seven uh, because the uh, energy correction is uh, for the uh, with respect to the wave function at uh, energy state one so i have not taken one so i have taken from three five seven it will go up to infinite but our question is we have to find the first three term that is three five seven by definition it is equal to summation over m uh, bra psi m zero uh, uh, h prime uh, gets uh, psi one zero uh, divided by e one zero minus uh, em uh, zero psi uh, m zero uh, this term is the expansion coefficient this is the uh, this is the uh, unperturbed mth energy state so now uh, we have to first replace the numerator that is uh, this inner product which is equal to uh, just now we have seen is equal to uh, 2 alpha over a sin m by by 2 uh, so i am replacing this by sin m by by 2 uh, and i am taking this 2 alpha a outside because there is no running index here so uh, next is i have to replace e10 uh, uh, minus em0 e10 is uh, the energy state here n is 1 so n squared pi squared h cross squared will become uh, one uh, because n is one just this will become pi squared h cross squared over uh, 2 mu a squared here mu is the mass that you have to remember then in the energy level of the mth state unperturbed state is equal to uh, m squared pi squared h cross squared uh, over 2 mu a squared now you can take this as a constant uh, pi squared h cross squared over 2 mu a squared so this will become 1 and this is here you have m squared 1 uh, minus m squared now uh, you substitute uh, for denominator e1 uh, minus em0 
uh, this term you substitute here then you will get to pi squared uh, h cross squared and uh, uh, this will also come into denominator because here it is numerator. We are using e, uh, e1 minus em in the denominator. So 1 minus m squared comes in the denominator. Uh, so this m is a running index. I brought it in inside the summation. And 2 mu uh, a squared will go to the numerator because the, uh, this is uh, in the denominator. So uh, now you can see here a here one a squared. So uh, this a will uh, get cancelled with this a squared. We will get only a. And similarly here one two here one two. Uh, that will become four. So this will become four. This alpha mu a and pi squared uh, multiplied by h cross squared. And here, if you put number 3, uh, 3 squared is 9, 1 minus 9, uh, 5 squared is 1 minus 25, because uh, 5 is 25, and uh, 7 is 49, 1 minus 49. Uh, you know, when you expand the sign series, you will get alternate plus and minus. So here, minus 1, then plus 1, uh, then minus 1. It will go uh, like that. Uh, we are interested only the first three terms. So uh, we got this expression. Uh, now we will solve one by one the terms. First uh, we will uh, take the coefficient, then I will come to the wave functions. Uh, so here you can see 1 minus 8 is minus 8. Already there is 1 minus in the numerator, minus 1. So this will become 1 over 8. Uh, similarly, here you can see minus 24, here it is plus, so naturally minus 24 will come. And similarly here, uh, minus 48, already there is one minus one here, so this will become 1 over plus 48. Uh, now you will come to the wave function. Uh, psi 3, 0, that is unperturbed wave function and uh, at uh, third energy level is uh, when m equal to 3, you will get uh, sign instead of m you put 3 3 pi over a x similarly for sin 5 it is sin 3 pi sorry sin 5 pi uh, over a similarly for sin 7 uh, psi 7 0 is equal to uh, sin uh, 7 uh, pi uh, over a so it will go like this now this one I can't uh, I can replace this by 3 times 8. Similarly, I can replace this uh, 6 times 8. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48. Now, you can take out the 1 over 8. And also, you remember, remember that I have taken uh, square root of 2 pi by a. This is the normalization constant for this wave function psi. Uh, so, uh, that also you, uh, you are not supposed to forget. This is square root of uh, 2a by uh, 2 by a, a, square root of 2 by a. So uh, then we will simplify it further. Uh, so now we will reduce this constant. First you take that 4. And the, here in the denominator you have 8. So this will become uh, 2 in the denominator. And there is 1 square root 2 in the numerator. So naturally you will get uh, 1 over square root 2 and about a you have the here a and here in the square root we have a. So you will get in the numerator square root a. Now uh, I am replacing all this term by a by square root of 2. a square root of a by square root of 2. So I am getting so the remaining term is alpha mu, alpha mu, pi squared, h cross squared. And this will become uh, square root of a by square root of 2. All other term will get cancelled. Uh, now in the inside bracket, I am keeping as it is. Uh, this is the uh, final correction for the uh, minimum uh, ground state energy, wave function of the ground state 
energy and first order energy correction. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously.